If you've ever seen a white bass blitz and you're your first cast, you hook up on one, go ahead, click the like and subscribe button because they were talking about white bass. White bass in May is part of our Fishing Explained 2021 series where every month, at the beginning of every month, we show you what kind of lures we like, where we're focusing our attention on, and what time of the day we're focusing our attention on. So you can be more successful at finding white bass, bass, or striper. So we have three-part series, uh, not three-part, 12-part series, three different species. So that's 36 videos a year we're going to be doing just for you guys. So, to start things off, May is top water time. It's top water time. Our circle of friends have already been reporting stripers on top water. That also means there's white bass on top water, okay? So, for, for white bass, uh, I think it's a good, fair guess to say that most of my white bass viewers do not catch in release. Most of them are probably selective harvesters. And then a good portion of them are catch and eat. Catch, put them in the cooler. Release them into the grease is what some people call it. But yeah, top water. Top water, we're, we're going to talk about top water just because that's how this channel started. This channel started around this time throwing top waters. We're still throwing top waters. It's top waters all day, right? Live by a top water, die by a top water. That's how much we uh, like throwing top waters, okay? Even though we've advanced really far, our equipment has gotten really, really far, we still say, if you're a new guy coming into the sport, start with a white bass. This is the good time. I want to introduce you to fishing because a topwater bite is a bite that can get you addicted to the world of fishing. And then we can talk about other things, right? But when you bring somebody into the world of fishing, you want them to have a good day. You want them to have a lot of visuals, okay? So topwater is a very visual bite. It's not very hard to do. Uh, you just got to teach them how to twitch the rod a little bit as they're reeling. Twitch, twitch, reel, reel, twitch, twitch, reel, reel. They'll pretty, they're going to be pretty successful. So, so that's why this is probably the favorite month of the year for me. Top water started. We're no longer throwing crappy jigs. Crappy jigs still put out, but it's no longer the preferred way because... Let's be honest, man. Fishing is an entertainment thing for us, too. It's not just feeding the, the, the family, right? So we have to, you know, one, be be excited to go fishing, and two, catch some fish. So we're not in that mode where we have to fill up the coolers anymore. We're in the mode of, like, if I catch five or six, I'm good. So I'm a selective harvester. All right? So top water. Let's talk top water. If you guys have been following the channel, you guys know what kind of top water we recommend for the white bass. Bam, right here. This, if there was a, such a thing as a Hall of Fame for the Out of Work Outdoors lures, this is it. I mean, check this out. This right here is called a Rebel T10 Jumping Minnow Chrome Black Bag. It's got so much. I mean, look at it. It's got so much. <laughs> it's got so many. It's got so many stories behind it. I mean, I've owned this guy for probably six years. If if I'm in a pinch, I need a topwater bite, that's the guy I go to. All species. As long as they're under 20 inches. <laughs> that's the guy I go to right there. Some people don't like the, the walk-in bait. They want the popper. Well, Rebel's got you covered too. This is the Rebel Pop R. Okay, it's like the medium size they offer. Once again, chrome black back. Works really, really good. Works really, really good. It's like six bucks. It's great. Oh, yeah, they used to sell these for like $2.99. Somebody said it uh, to jack the prices up. I don't know who did it. All right, so we're still following the top water theme here. We got a... Okay, so those are fairly fairly bigger baits. Then you need a downsize one. You downsize one, you go to this. This is a Yozuri wake bait. It's a really good wake bait, from, as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, I throw this a lot when um, when you know there's uh, activity. You can see them chasing bait. 
but they just don't want your other top water. Popper's not going to do, you know, the, the walking bait, it's not going to do. Just give them something small, something enticing, right? That's it. That is the wake bait. And here's the other one. That, well, the other is a little hard to find, but this one's not as hard. I had to dig this one out. It's kind of rusty. Probably going to change these hooks out. But KVD 1.5. Not in that color. More shad pattern color, but 1.5 is really good. That's a crankbait. This is a wake bait, okay? It's a little different. All right. This is probably my dad's favorite. Okay, or well, at least this is the one I give to my dad every time we go out. This is the one I give to my dad every time we go out. So this is the Striking Red Eye Shad. Striking Red Eye Shad. It's got a little bit of rattle. So that's the difference between this one and the other one. The next one we'll show you. The Gay Blade. It's got a little bit of rattle. Helps it out in the muddier water. Once again, though, it's like that perfect profile. One, one and a half inch chrome, a little bit of sounds, got treble hooks on it, so you're not going to miss a the fish. They're cheap to find. Like I said, this is the quarter ounce version. They make a half ounce and a three quarter ounce, but I really like this quarter ounce. Does a lot of damage on the quarter ounce. And I specifically like the gold one, the gold red eye shad. I really like that one a lot. And how are you not going to talk about white bass without the staple? Oops. How are you not going to talk about white bass without talking about this guy? I mean, my general area, we sold these out. Napa Tech did not have these in stock because of us. And if you're watching from Napa Tech, let me know. But this is the Cotton Cordell Gay Blade. Chartreuse is my favorite color, and they got them in blue, and they got them in black back, okay? But yep, Con Cordell, gay blade. It's a blade bait. It just vibrates. Throw it out there, chuck your wine. Okay, but every once in a while, and this is where, this is what's going to separate the good fishermen from the average fishermen this month, because every month there is that one moment okay show you what i mean these are the baits a good fisherman would anticipate this happening and if you're watching this video you're probably one of those good fishermen or you're about to become one of those good fishermen okay so this is what i'm talking about take a look at them because you may never see them again on the channel because I hate this month, time of month. I love this type of month. This time of month. Time of year, actually. Oh, keep on dropping these, man. Okay, so. I love them and I hate them. Love them and I hate them. But this time of, this time of year, a lot of things are happening. A lot of things are happening. So if you're, if you're still in the spawning phase, this doesn't play yet. If you're post-spawn, this is what this is going to play. So the post-spawn, you got to imagine. White bass are spawned. We're spawning. Large mouths are spawning. The walleyes are spawning. The shad spawns happening right now. There's a lot of little fish in the world. Of, or in the world right now. For all these other bigger fish to feast on. They're all focused on little bait. Little fry. Little one-inch fish. Put it that way. So, a lot of times, mo the majority of the baits that are out there, they're all two and a half inch, three inch baits. This guy's a one inch. Okay, this guy's still one inch. Still at one inch, right? One inch. So, if you happen to be out there that day, and you know there's got to be fish on the bank, because you can literally see them chasing bait up and down the bank, throw everything else at them, they don't want it. That's the guy you got to go do. It's the only guy you can go to. It's the only guy. This is your last stop before you go home. The last spoon. It is a little CeeLo 1 8 ounce. Color really doesn't matter, but, you know, white, blue. This one just happens to be a copper orange. 
doesn't really matter. Um, I think they all work. But be aware, this month you have to carry something like this. You're going to run into it. If you fish once a week, you're going you're gonna to run into this problem. Okay. So the good fishermen will pack something like this. All right, so that's that's where small and smelly comes in. Smelly. There's also going to be a, a time, a week out of the four weeks, where they don't they've seen everything they've been caught by everybody. This is where the smell and little little baits come in because they haven't seen it right. And it's going to be one phase in there. Either it's going to happen this month or next month. Where scent is going to be big, okay? So those Berkeley products, those Max Scent products, those uh, Berkeley little minnows that you can get in a little jug, that's when those come into play. And you just have to understand that when that happens, you either have it or you don't. It's that simple. But you have to be able to pick that up, okay? Uh, once again, small spoons and rizzo shells. Works. Oh, with all that noise, yeah, that's that's family over there. So if you have family too, give me a thumbs up. So where are you going to find these fish, right? White bass are open water fish primarily, but this time of year, they will push the bank. Again, it's probably one of the three times in the year they will be on the bank. Shad spawn. They're going to eat shad. The shad spawn, shad are about three inches long. They will eat those guys. So that's when, if that happens, throw the top water. You know, the, the Rebel T10, perfect. The Pop R, perfect. The Wake Bait, perfect. But you're talking about three inch shad that are spawning, and then there's the baby bass and the baby white bass that are there also. They're one inch. So depending on what situation you run into, you need to throw the proper baits, okay? Small baits. Small one inch bait. One inch baits. One inch baits. All this action is going to be within two feet of the bank. Two feet of the bank. So for the fishermen, the bank beaters, this is your time to shine. This is your time to shine. It really is your time to shine. Uh, fish bluff walls. Nah, I wouldn't even say bluff walls. They're flats. They're going to be on more flatter uh, terrain from what I've seen. Um, they're going to be on objects that are in the water at the bank so look for rocks look for like stumps look for trees things like that but a lot more open water type stuff so i haven't seen a lot of shad in the back of the pocket spawn and shadows spawn basically everywhere so it's really hard to say yeah back of the pockets main lake points you have to go find an area that works for you in your area and make sure when you're free you find the shad spawn it happens all night they've been eating all night all right so if you go out there uh, even at night, you can still throw like a, a lipless crankbait or something like that, or a little small square bill that, me that I mentioned that you can still catch them at night. But a lot of the, a lot of people go right at sunrise, right? So that prime time of sunrise, you'll have about an hour to fish them, and then they kind of die off a little bit. That's what it is. So you can go, you can always throw some slightly bigger baits, but if you're there during the day, you better be throwing that one inch. That's kind of my recommendations for right now. And when and where, right? So I just mentioned it. Uh, prime time. Prime time is uh, is, a, is a something that we kind of coined our, into our own category here. So in our on our channel, we, when we say prime time, we mean the time between you can't even see your hand to the sun. You can actually see the the sunrise. That's prime time. And vice versa. Sun drops to the moment you can't see your hand anymore. Prime time. Prime time is the time this time of year okay unless if it's rainy or if you have cloudy days that's pretty good too but for the most part if you have rainy cloudy days and prime time you're doing real good all right guys so that's what i got for the month of may for white bass uh we're gonna be doing a lot more uh white bass recipes and things like that catch and cook type stuff once the temperatures come up a little bit and uh that's pretty much it so uh, that's something I want to kind of get away from from uh, from the kind of usual uh, monthly white bass. Just listen up lures. Because I want to introduce this idea that there's going to be a moment in time where you're going to run into the small baits. Small baits, small baits, small baits. Okay, So that's the major thing for this month. I hope that really helps you prepare for the future because I know you're going to run into it. And uh, that's 
that's about it for the month, guys. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel, share this with your friends, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. All right, once again, it's Connery from Out of Work Outdoors. See you guys.